Hello viewers, welcome back. So in the last session, we saw under the playlist of tally data management, how we can export any report or data into PDF format and JPEG format. So in this session, we will learn how we can export any data or report into Excel for further analysis. But then Tally provides you certain special functionality for certain report when you are exporting to Excel. That is what we will see. Otherwise, what we understood of exporting in the previous session is going to be the same step that we would be following. Let us go to Tally and explore the option of exporting the report and certain registers to Excel and see what additional options Tally provides. In the last session, we had exported the financial statement in PDF. Now let us export the financial statement in Excel format. So let's go to profit and loss account, enter to export this report. Click on export here and the current report is what we want to export, enter. If you notice, the file format here is JPEG. So let's go to the right hand side button bar and click on file format. Click here and then change the file format into Excel spreadsheet. If you want to export this with detailed format, you really don't have to worry. Come to configure here and then you have all these options where you can enable these options as per your requirement. Additionally, when you click on show more, you're going to get additional options. So let's quickly walk through this. So show percentage, then exclude accounts with zero closing balance. In the last session, we observed that while exporting it to PDF format, all the ledgers which had zero closing balance was not getting exported. Now you are exporting to Excel. This option you have to enable or disable. So let us say you don't want the accounts with zero closing balance to be exported into Excel. So in that case, select this and just press enter and set it to yes. Now next is the auto column. When you come to auto column, if you want to split this report into various periodicity, you can do so. Let us leave this as yearly only. The file format here is when you press enter here, it becomes detailed so that it will explode to the first level of detailing. So if you want to view the profit and loss account in vertical format, you can make this as yes or no with the gross profit is yes. Then the stock valuation method, scale factor, all these options are available as part of your F12 configuration. Either you can do that and then export it, or you can come to the configuration here and set the option that you want to be configured. Now, when we come down to export setting, you will see that the worksheet will be named as profit and loss account. In case if you have already exported and if there is additional information which you want to export into the same file, then this option update existing file when you make this as yes, it is going to overwrite on that. And this option open file after export since it is made as yes, the moment you export tally will automatically open the Excel file. We can now escape and then the file name is going to be PNL XLS and the folder where it is going to get exported will be D colon export. So I'm going to click on send. If you notice here, we have this profit and loss account exported into Excel and now you can use this information for further analysis. You can go and modify the values for you to do a kind of what if analysis and various other thing as per your requirement. One important thing that you have to notice here 
is that the values are just populated in the excel sheet and no formulas are going to be captured click here the total amount if you notice in the edit bar it is the numeric value it is not the formula you can now use all the excel features to modify this information or apply formulas let us export the sales register and see what other additional options tally provides when you are exporting the sales register to access sales register again remember your secret number three click on go to and then type sales you will get the sales register here select the sales register and press enter so now i am going to select the month of march enter let us bring the sales register for the entire year so you are going to press F2 and then press space bar and enter tally will bring all the transactions for the entire financial year now let us export this to excel so click on export current and let us go to configure and see what other additional options are available for this report click on configure go to show more and enter here one additional thing that you will notice in case of your sales register and purchase register is if you want to export it for pivot table you can do so so let me click here and then press enter so that we enable this export for pivot table now i press escape and let us now send this this is your sales register now ready for pivot analysis you will see here that each field is there you can apply filter and then do your analysis if you observe you will see this voucher number one which is split into four line which means each item is being extracted and provided in separate line for you to do a pivot analysis let's go to tally and then see the first sales voucher here let me enter into this and you will see these are the four items which have been sold with the quantity rate and the amount now when you observe here each item is in the separate line it is also giving you the go down information item in batch information quantity it gives you the selling rate the purchase rate in case if there is any discount all the additional field which are associated with your sales you're going to get all this information including the narration so this is how it is going to quickly help you to do a pivot analysis as per your requirement this is the advantage of enabling export for pivot table let us now export the same information without the pivot table and see the difference click on show more this option export for pivot table is set to no so i'm going to press escape if you notice here it is just giving you the dump of the voucher list as we saw in tally the list of sales voucher is exported as it is to excel this is how you can make use of the additional option of export for pivot table where you can do various analysis with the data in the next session we will understand export of your data in XML format and how you can leverage this file format. I hope the simple option of exporting your data or report to Excel would be of immense help for you whenever you want tally data to be taken to third party application for further analysis. So thank you all very much for staying till the end. See you all in the next session. Thank you very much.